Hey Virgo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading, but we're going to look at your person's energy today, okay? We're going to see what their intentions are, what are their desires. Um, whoever you're thinking about dealing with, this certainly could resonate for you. If it does, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, just a quick announcement. I do have a Halloween sale going on. Everything, um, all my decks, okay, Tarot Oracle decks are 15% off for the Halloween. Um, October 31st is when the sale ends, okay? So let's jump right in. Virgo, what's up? What's going on with your person? Virgo in love, your person. All right. Um, what is Virgo's person's intentions? What's going on with them? What are the desires for Virgo? Any all messages? Your extended bonus reading, how does your person feel, is up on Vimeo. If you guys haven't checked it out, it is available. The link is in, in the description box, okay? All right, so we have the Knight of Cups, um, okay? And the Emperor. So I feel like this is someone in the past, Virgo, who's been struggling um, with revealing their true feelings. Um, I do feel like this is someone who has feelings, but they don't show it. They have a really uh, difficult time showing it. There's some challenges here, okay? The Knight of Cups in verse, I feel like someone here has been holding back emotionally from you, for sure, Virgo. Um, but it's something here about them wanting to do more, wanting to rise up to the occasion, wanting to maybe come up with a strategy, a plan of action on how to come forward. I feel that Virgo, someone is just definitely like you know uh, having a difficult time resisting resisting showing you their feelings their emotions right now but the truth is is that they do want to be someone that takes back control of the connection certainly if it has been going down the wrong um path there's the emperor here right so it's like i want to take back control i want to make better decisions i want to do right by you okay someone feels very much responsible for something to happen in a past virgo where maybe you guys are not showing emotions or where you guys have disconnected Okay, um, it could be a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. Let's see what else we can find out about this person Virgo's dealing with. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. So your person's intentions are to get out of the cold here with you, right? This is someone, Virgo, who feels distant. They feel blocked. They feel abandoned. They feel like you pushed them away, pushed them to the side. They feel like you don't want anything to do with them. Right, we have like a cage and we have a rose, uh, a wilted rose. Right, someone is like dying because you're not paying them much of mind, you're not giving them attention. Right, they're feeling as if they're like <laughs> drowning because, um, I'm getting drowning in their, their emotions and they're like thirsty for your love. Okay, someone here is definitely having a really difficult time right now. Um, you know, even if they kind of ran away from you or they ghosted you, there's the energy of feeling like I miss Virgo's presence in my life. I miss Virgo's touch. I miss Virgo's company, you know, companionship. So th this is what, what they're trying to do. They're trying to get out of the cold with you or be in a place where, um, you guys are coming together, right? Where there's some kind of, um, union here okay because right now there's like a disunion that's creating a lot of disharmony in your life right um a lot of emotions here so with the queen of wands i feel like this is someone who wants to take action okay They're, they have a desire to take action they're still passionate about you they care about you there's there's that energy of wanting change we also have the ace of cups coming out in reverse and we have the hierophant this person is thinking about something here that fell through. I'm getting this person wasn't able to love you the right way. They're thinking about uh, making an offer, but they almost feel like there's something here where either you're not committed or they can't give you that commitment just yet, okay? So Virgo, this is what's on their mind, a love offer and commitment. So you're definitely someone that they consider um, having some kind of relationship with, right? They may certainly know that right now you guys aren't in a place where you need to be to be able to move forward with that, but they're certainly thinking about that. It's certainly on their mind. And I think that with the Hierophant and Averse, there could have been some challenges, right? Maybe this person wasn't able to commit to you at the time. Maybe there was some issues, right? This person being available to commit. Um, the Hierophant and Averse could be the energy of also someone just um not committing because it may have been distractions could have been interference right um maybe you know again timing i'm getting timing for a lot of you guys something about the right time um ace of cups is here because they do feel like they missed an opportunity with you but there was love here the knight of cups the ace of cups it definitely was love they see you with the death card and we have the knight of swords in reverse 
they see you as not wanting to talk to them okay a lot of you guys they see you as like cutting them out or they lack clarity as to where they stand with you they may feel like you're not open to communicating with them at this time or it's very difficult to communicate with you um i feel like they see you as being very cold or very detached virgo um maybe that's not your typical personality but they see you in that energy they see you as being closed off emotionally void um holding back you know and they see you as maybe not being very honest either about something here now with the death card it's indicating that your person sees you as wanting change or seeing you as a, um, they want to bring forth some change to you to the connection so i feel like this is someone who's not satisfied with where things are right there's no love for me there's no attention there's no affection there's no um communication so what is telling me that virgo your person wants to transform this connection right they want to take action so they can move things forward past this stuck ugly place in the heart we have the four of pentacles and the ten of swords so i'm seeing that your person definitely is trying to overcome some kind of really difficult ending here the ten of swords indicating of a betrayal and ending that was quite devastating for the both of you it's something that they're trying to work through or they're trying to work past um we also have the energy of the four pentacles right this is that energy of holding back being resistant being closed off being guarded so i see that you know this is someone here who may play right now as if they don't want anything to do with you but really it's because um you know they may feel you're guarding them like you're you're guarded against them they may feel like you got these blocks up or um you know there's something here where they can't just come towards you so they're acting the same way i'm getting like you're acting a certain way virgo you're pushing away and so they're pushing you away too right and so we have the energy of the ten of swords in reverse they want to overcome this they realize there's a lot of defensive energy because of the way something ended the damage that it caused the hurt that it caused they would like to overcome that en energy that ending here with that ten of swords yeah, but they're being very secretive. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the High Priestess in verse. So I feel like this is your person's um, intentions to kind of just work on themselves right now, build their empire, right? They may be acting very content or satisfied, but there's the energy of trying to work on themselves because they realize that if I am not whole, if I'm not complete, if there are things that I need to work through, I can't be the the best person for virgo i can't be the counterpart that virgo needs so i feel like your person is recognizing that you know what i need to get my life together first okay before i come toward virgo and there's something here that your person wants to reveal we have the high priestess card it can be done with the pisces um they, they want to reveal something they want to open up they want to um drop the burdens drop the guards drop the layers right and reveal something to you but i think it's going to take some time it may not happen right away overnight we also have the ten of cups so behind the scenes the seven of swords the ten of cups that's strategizing Tra strategizing on how to get to this happy place this place of fulfillment where you guys are loving each other where you see um you know you're both emotionally satisfied fulfilled there's an emotional connection and a bond that you guys are working on and building right so it's telling me that your person wants to be happy again and they see happiness with you and so they're strategizing coming up with a plan right we have the emperor seven of swords and how they can overcome that what can i do now to um you know have this happiness ten of cups with virgo um we also have the knight of wands in verse and the ten of wands so again there's something here where your person got two tens tens or endings in tarot so virgo don't expect a miracle don't expect this person to rush in like the next day it doesn't happen that way because with the knight of wands in reverse this person still has some things to get together okay leo sag aries energy this is someone who still comes in they're out in and out unreliable very fickle okay the knight of wands in verse is someone here who you can't rely on just yet it's like they may say something but they may not follow through with the correct action so um there's still some things your person has some challenges that they're still working on or moving past with the ten of wands but one thing's for certain is that after an ending there's new beginnings coming through right and so um, i feel like your person definitely is aspiring to have some kind of change a new beginning with you but they're gonna have to rise up they know they have work to do all right so let's get some messages from the divine love this particular deck is available on my etsy shop it is 15 percent off for those of you guys are interested if you enjoy this um deck all right all right we have let's see what we got harmony okay um we have awakening and let's get one more 
we have perspective, okay? So it says harmony. This partnership will experience more peaceful and pleasant interaction. So I feel like your person is working toward getting to this place of harmony where you guys come together, right? Where you guys love each other. There's peace. There's no conflict. There's no drama, right? That is going to take time. That is not going to happen overnight, but that is what your person's intentions are. We have an awakening. Now, I feel like your person, the reason why they're wanting this change here is because they're going through some kind of wake-up call. There's an awakening, right? It says a new outlook and perspective on the situation is coming. So they're now looking at things from a different perspective, right? They're now seeing things from your point of view. Now they're seeing their wrongs. Now they're looking at themselves in the mirror. They, they realize that they haven't done the best, right? They're looking, look, look, perspective, a different outlook on a situation is needed. So they're looking at things from different perspectives and that's allowing them to wake up. It's allowing them to realize that, you know what? I got to be a better person for Virgo. I got to do X, Y, and Z so that I can get my life together, right? So that is what I'm seeing, Virgo. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Again, my Halloween sale is going on to October 31st. All decks are 15% off, okay? And um, yeah, check you guys out later. Have a great weekend. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Bye.